Have you ever felt like you're not doing anything significant with your life or career and just been totally fine with that? That's been me for the past 30 days. I haven't done much of anything and it scared me. It's not that I haven't been doing anything that scares me. It's the fact that I've been enjoying not doing anything and I don't care. So usually as a creator, it's a pressure to stay relevant or active, and this even gets to me at times, but I honestly haven't been given a f and that scares me for my creative future. I think this may be the deeper issue though, and maybe you can relate. Seasonal Affective Disorder, also known as SAD or Seasonal Depression, a mood disorder characterized by depression that occurs at the same time every year. Seasonal Affective Disorder occurs in climates where there is less sunlight at certain times of the year. Symptoms include fatigue, depression, hopelessness, and social withdrawal. And while I won't say I'm depressed, I'm definitely fatigued, careless, and heavily withdrawn socially. I'm not sure where you live, but naked trees, dead grass, and 20 degrees isn't the most motivating thing creatively. I've been sitting on my ass watching a ton of YouTube videos just trying to figure out what do I actually care about, waiting for that creative spark to come, but nothing. So I thought about what has always brought that spark back to me creatively, traveling. I packed my bags and we hopped on a plane. Um, we're in LA. Uh, we actually been here for a couple days. We did a studio tour, a couple studio tours. I'm starting a new series, y'all see that soon. We're at the hotel, we're about to go grab some food today. We got a shoot coming up. It's gonna be a lip vlog, stick with us. How's this LA experience so far? Honestly, it's chill, y'all. We've been in the car a lot. The traffic is hell, but it ain't as aggressive as Atlanta. You come to Atlanta, you gotta fight in traffic. Like, you know? Here in LA, people be chill. The real question is, how's the Tesla experience? I don't think that the navigation left onto South Figueroa Street. is that great, but it's cheap, you know? A full battery the other day was like $15. At the crib, I'm paying like $60 to fill up my tank. 93 is expensive, yo. Gas ain't there right now. So right now, we in downtown LA. We're going to this spot called Wake and Late. Burritos, flame, we got good chai. I'm about to go grab some breakfast, get some energy, and then I gotta go get a haircut. Yeah. I heard a saying once that really resonated with me. It was something along the lines that ideas float around the universe, and if you don't grab a specific one, somebody else will. I've seen it happen time and time again. Ideas that I've not acted on for whatever reason come into existence by some other creator and I'm sitting here like, damn, why didn't I do that? I've had an idea for a while to create a series touring some of the best studios worldwide for music videos and filmmaking and just show YouTube what they have to offer. I just wanted to act on this idea, no more procrastinating. And this was the main reason we came to LA. Right now, we're heading for me, Sin. We're about to start this music video, shoot, kind of just playing off the environment. We don't really got too much of a plan. I pulled some angles that I like from other music videos. Yeah, it's gonna be very simple run and gun. Uh, we shooting it on the R6. I got the Sigma 24 millimeter art. I'm gonna try to shoot the entire music video on this lens, but we'll see. It's a couple like super wide angle shots I wanna get. I might have to switch for those, but. I'm gonna try to like one angle this, maybe tripod, handheld, super simple, just add some aesthetic and post. It should be a vibey video. You have a Georgia number, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Tennessee originally, but I lived in Georgia for a little bit. Yeah, no I just lived in uh, I lived in Atlanta for two years. Really? Yeah, I just moved back to Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we 
we live in the sticks in the middle of nowhere. This is April. You like it? You hate it? You dealing both. with it? Yeah. <laughs> I like both. I like it, I hate it. But both. I think the the opportunity is cool. Yeah. It's a lot of wonder to the city, but it's also a lot of like sick about the city too, like not in a good way. So we're about to mess around with some performances and some B-roll. We got a cool statue right here. I like this. I was the last one. I don't know. Oh, yeah. We running and gunning. We gonna figure it out. <laughs> This is crazy. She likes it, yes. <laughs> and it's not even color grading. It's not even yeah. color grading. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Take a couple steps back, my bad. Take like one more scoop back. Yup. I think you should turn though. Turn your body like that way. I hope I can stabilize this and pose. The sunset was just perfect this day. We wanted to get a shot of her performing with the sky properly exposed. So we just used the Nanlite Pavo 215X that my bro Kurt brought along. I just set off to the side of the frame and held it. If you've been feeling like me lately, here's a few things you can do to kick your creativity back into gear. The first thing is diversify your activities. As humans, it's easy for us to get caught up in doing one thing we enjoy and that makes us forget about other things we might also enjoy. Why leave my comfy couch and go shoot when I can just sit here and enjoy my time? Why go to the gym when I can just sit here and edit? I feel this way so often about even going outside, but once I feel the breeze and get my legs moving, I'll be like, dang, I need to do this more. You don't have to travel all the way across the country to get back into it like I did. Just do something else that you enjoy that's related to what you've been dreading. The second thing is skip the planning phase and act on an idea you have. For months, I've been holding off this trip to LA to do studio tours. I gotta plan it. I gotta reach out to people. I gotta script what I need to say. While planning is great, it can often be procrastination. If you have an idea, just do it and judge it at the end. We often talk ourselves out of some of the greatest ideas we have before we even start them. The third thing is create something with limitation. Placing a limitation on yourself will drastically lower your expectations of the final product. Here's a few examples. Make the best thing you can in an hour. Make the best thing you can with one lens, with one light, with only 10 gigabytes of storage. You'll surprise yourself every time doing this, as opposed to how you might typically feel when you have no limitations. This could have been way better. It was great to just get out in the streets and shoot a music video without a plan. With one lens, with no gimbal, no major lighting, no locations. Just fun with good people and vibing off of what we saw. Click this here if you want to check out the full music video. The track is fire and I think we made something that aesthetically matches the song given the vibe we wanted. 